Thanks, guys. We are following breaking news this morning. Federal health experts are recommending states temporarily pause using the Johnson & Johnson vaccines while officials investigate reports of potentially dangerous blood clots. That comes as several events are taking place today where the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was expected to be given out. One of those events was at Dickie Brennan's Tableau restaurant. Asha Staples is there with more on what organizers will do following this morning's breaking news. Hey, Asha. Hey, good morning. They have been able to adjust their plan. Of course, this was a great thing to be happening uh, this morning because that Johnson & Johnson was that one dose uh, vaccine that folks, a lot of people in the hospitality industry uh, wanted because of the convenience, but they are shifting gears. Everything is good, and we are now heard hearing that they have the Pfizer vaccine actively on its way to this event. We're talking with Joey Worley with Enola Safe about the changes. I know it's something you didn't expect to wake up to, but talk to me about what you guys have planned for the rest of the day. Yeah, I think if, if the last year or so has taught us anything, it's to be ready for a curveball right. and, and to be ready to adjust on the fly. So, um, you know, working with Oshner, obviously we've got a great partner in the in the healthcare side of this. So they very quickly pivoted to uh, to bring in the Pfizer vaccine, which, um, as most people know, that's a two dose version. So, you know, it, it's a little bit of a curveball there. But um, you know, all plans are, are a go right now. I mean, we've got you know folks uh, folks lining up right now, and um, you know, we're going to be with with it being a two dose situation now. We're going to offer people. An appointment right here on site and we're actually going to do a, a very similar uh, event to this on May the 4th. We, okay. We've just confirmed that with the venue. So uh, all systems are go and we're still looking forward to a great day. Yeah, and I know that this is really targeted uh, for those that are in the hospitality industry. People don't seem to be too upset to come here expecting one a vaccine dose and getting another. So what does that tell you about those that are working in this industry that are wanting to get vaccinated and kind of just going with the changes? Yeah, I mean, I think that says a lot about the industry itself, how, how people are are ready to is, is anyone that's in you know restaurants or hotels or events or, or, or anything like that I mean everybody's already always got plan B uh, sort of in the back of their head and, and this is really no different so I think you know the folks that are here are still excited about it we're still excited and uh, you know we're just we're trying to do the right thing by our uh, by our hospitality workforce here and it's uh, it's gonna be a great day so you know Johnson Johnson Pfizer whatever it is we're ready to roll yeah and then quickly also I know that we spoke yesterday uh, about this event ahead of the time uh, we're talking about uh, trying to do something different for the community because of the pandemic, you know, not doing the, the typical mask uh, handouts, this hand sanitizers, all of that. So what does it mean for you to be able to do an event like this uh, for those that are working in the hospitality industry? And at the end of the day, it is to boost our economy, get it back to where we were post uh, or excuse me, pre pandemic. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the, the mission of, of NOLA Safe is to help the hospitality industry, you know, recover in as many ways as we can. And, you know, we hear a lot about restoring consumer confidence and, and bringing guests back to the city. But, you know, to me, it's it's sort of a, a two way street. You know, if the if the workforce that's not taking care of our guests isn't confident, doesn't feel good about doing their jobs, how are they going to show people a good time that are that are coming here and provide them with a great service that that our city's known for? So I, I think you have to start with, the you know, with the workforce, do the right thing by the by the people that are on the ground doing the work and taking care of our, our guests. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for that information. And again, they are still going on with this event. It did uh, start at 730 this morning. They are actively wait waiting for that Pfizer vaccine to get here on site. They are ex um, ex ex expecting walk-ins. They are accepting them, but they do, of course, encourage you to make an appointment. And of course, you can do that uh, online and they will be here through 630 tonight. So come out and get vaccinated if you can. Reporting in the French Quarter, Asha Staples, Eyewitness News.